My name is Rob Wendell and I've been a regional Hobie team member for four years now and this is my third Hobie Pro Angler. As you might notice I stuck with yellow for this one and the reason for that is because I really like the visibility it gives me when I'm out in the open water and boats aren't looking for me. This just stands out a little bit more. The reason I stuck with the Hobie Pro Angler 14 is the new seat which is I really really like. It uh, is very comfortable. I thought the old one was comfortable until I got into this one. This one's really nice. Um, I also like that I don't have to drill any holes to install my, my fish locator or wire it. It has waterproof grommets that make installation a breeze. Uh, let me show you how I rigged it up. First, I'll start with my Yak Attack gear tracks. I really like these because I can move my rod holders around I usually like them in the back for trolling in the Great Lakes. I do a lot of trolling for trout and salmon and uh, having them nice and close to me is a big help, especially during the cold weather months when uh, mobility is an issue, when they're all bundled up wearing warm, uh, puffy clothing. Keeping the rod holders right next to me helps out quite a bit. Often I'll use this back one here for offshore trolling on Lake Michigan and I'll leave that for copper line or lead core line. The next thing I'd like to show you is my Lawrence Elite 7. The reason I like this fish locator is that I can keep track of where I am offshore with the GPS, mark my spots, but it also has down scanning, down imaging, and traditional sonar. And I like having both in one transducer, which this one has. Um, when I'm offshore fishing, I like the, trans the traditional sonar, and when I'm inshore fishing for bass or walleye, I like to use the structure scan. Another thing I like to use when I'm fishing in shallow, like shallow flats for smallmouth bass, is the Yak Attack Park and Pole. Anytime I'm fishing in less than four or five feet of water, I'll use the Park and Pole to, to stop myself and keep in place without putting down an anchor and spooking the fish. I live in Kenosha, Wisconsin, right on the shore of Lake Michigan, and so I do a lot of fishing for trout and salmon. Some of it happens offshore, and some of it happens in the harbors. Uh, offshore, we like to fish for coho salmon and chinook salmon, and steelhead and inside the harbors we often fish for brown trout and uh, and steelhead again. Uh, when we're fishing offshore we use devices like planer boards, uh, torpedo divers and dipsy divers to get our lines deep enough to where the fish are. We often have to go miles offshore up to four or five miles offshore and fish 30 to 40 feet down while maintaining speeds of three miles an hour. The reason I like kayak fishing for salmon so much is that you're down in one with the fish. Where traditional salmon fishing is done in big boats, you really don't get to fight the fish down in personal. And the reason I chose the Hobie 14, the Pro Angler 14, is because it is so versatile. I can use it inshore fishing in the harbors, I can use it to troll offshore, and it can handle everything, small water and big water. And it allows me to bring a lot of tackle with me. When I'm harbor fishing, I don't know if I'm going to be casting, jigging, trolling. I could do all of those things in one day. And this allows me to bring all the equipment that I need without going back to the car and switching out rods or switching out any of the tackle. And here in the Great Lakes, when we catch salmon, we like to keep it. And this will keep a whole limit of salmon on ice without any problems.